Hello and welcome back to Rob's PC Workshop. Today we're going to be configuring Ethernet and serial interfaces. We're going to configure a LAN Ethernet interface, we're going to configure a, a wireless area network serial interface, and we're going to verify the interface configurations. So the first thing we want to do is use the terminal emulation password on the customer PC to connect to the Cisco 1841 customer router. And we're going to use Cisco for the uh, eight for the password. So we're going to go to our customer PC, go to our desktop, go to our our, our password, our our uh, terminal, enter Cisco for our password. Um, we're going to enter privileged exec mode using Cisco one two three for the privileged access password. So enable, and then Cisco one two three. Um, so the, the pound uh, sign at the end of customer router prompt indicates that we're in privilege exec mode. We're in a global configuration mode with configuration with configure terminal comp T. Um, so now we're in the configuration mode. We're going to identify which LAN interface to configure with an IP address. To configure the fast Ethernet inter interface, we're going to use the interface fast Ethernet 00. zero command. Uh, so FE00. Zero, zero. <clears throat> so now we're in our fast Ethernet. So we're going to add a description to the interface. Description connected to customer switch. We're going to uh, specify the IP address and subnet mask for the interface. IP address 192.168.1.1, subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. <clears throat> We're going to use the no shutdown command or no shut. Um, and then we're going to exit the, the command or end. Exit interface configuration mode using end. So now we go back to our closed exact mode. So now we're going to configure the wireless area network serial interface. Um, refer to the diagram in the Pack Tracer workspace area and the commands used in step one to configure the wireless area network. Remember the Cisco iOS CLI help commands to configure the interface. Enter global configuration mode. Ident identify the serial interface to configure. Um, describe the interface. Specify the internet IP address and subnet mask. Ensure the interface is enabled. End interface mode. So. First thing we're going to want to do is go into our uh, global configuration mode with conf t. So we're configuring the wireless area network serial interface on the customer router. So as you can see, this is our serial interface. So now we're going to go into our configuration mode and then interface serial 0 0-0-0. So 
I'm not sure her command, so I'm going to type in uh, question mark, and it gives me Ethernet, fast Ethernet, gigabyte Ethernet, net loopback, serial, VLAN, and range. So serial. Thought it was zero dash zero, but zero dash zero dash zero. There's our serial port. Let's try it. Zero dash one dash zero. There we go. And now we are in it. Um, we're going to describe describe the serial interface. Um, So description. WAN serial. Um, we're going to specify the IP address for it. So IP address 209.165. Dot two hundred dot two twenty five, and then the um, subnet mask is going to be two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot two four. <clears throat> so now we're going to. Um, Ensure the interface is enabled. So we want to do a no shut command. And then end and copy run start. So we uh, change the state to up. Now we're going to end configuration mode. And now we're going to use our show run command to verify the configuration. So enable secret, enable password Cisco. No IP domain lookup. Interface fast ethernet zero is set to 192.168.1.1. Interface serial is 209.165 as we set it. So, um, everything's been uh, set correctly. So now we're going to use the ping command to verify connectivity to the wireless area network interface on the ISP router. This is a partial example of the output. So we're going to ping 209.165 Actually we need to go to our command prompt From here ping to make sure we have connectivity So sent for receive zero. So I did that incorrectly. We want to do that from the customer router, not from the success rate a hundred percent. 
So now we're going to use the ping command to verify connectivity to the customer switch. Success rate again 100%. So while we're in privileged exec mode, we're going to use copy run start to save our configuration. Building configuration and it's saved. So when you ping the LAN IP address of the ISP, what happens and why it uh, checks for connectivity. It sends packets and receives packets uh, to make sure you're connected. Which Cisco ISO CLI mode do you need to be in to configure the description of an interface? You need to be in the configuration interface command. So after completing step four, what happens if you rebooted the router before completing step five? Step five is where it saves everything you've entered, copy, run, start. So if you rebooted prior to that, your router would not save any of the configurations you made. So that's why it's essential to type copy, run, start uh, so that you can uh, save all your everything you've set up. So I hope that's been helpful. Have a nice day.